75 year old lady presents with collapse. Uh, she's got a permanent pacemaker. She's been having dizzy spells lately. Her primary survey shows a patent airway. Lungs are all right. Sats are a bit low, I suppose, but, uh, but she's bradycardic and she's <coughs> hypertensive and she's dropped to conscious level and she's got that ECG trace there, which is showing complete heart block. What are we gonna do with her? Yeah, like she's pretty profoundly compromised. And we know what normally works for her is the pacemaker. So I'll pace her. Um, yeah, you, I guess you could try a chronotrope, adrenaline or isoprenaline. What if you couldn't find the external pacemaker? Someone's using it, you've only got one in the apartment. Yeah, percussion pacing, how, how do you do that? Has anyone ever done it? Yeah, a few people, percussion pacing. So that's just thumping over the, it's not, it's not a precordial thump, bang. It's smaller, regular beats over the apex and then moving around till you get capture. So it's a, it's a mechanical way <coughs> of delivering a small shock to the heart. It gets transmitted into electrical energy and can cause uh, electrical capture. If you, it sounds crazy, but yeah, while someone's getting the pacing things ready, if the patient's profoundly compromised and you get capture, it works and it's as effective as a transvenous pacing wire in terms of the stroke volume that you'll get. Because the LV just needs to be told to beat. It doesn't matter whether you do it with a fist, pads, or a wire. Once you tell it to beat, if you get capture, you'll get the same stroke volume. And there's a study that proves that from Portsmouth. But it looks mad, and it's not nice for the relatives to watch you punching Gladys. She came in with it, <laughs> feeling dizzy, and now you're punching her in the chest. Um, all right. Did study look at like, um, sedation requirements or anything? Like, no, it was a case report. Chest, but I know the study really well because I wrote it, but it was a right. case report. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a fellow, of course, with ICU. And, um, but uh, the patient had, um, I can't remember what's wrong with her, some sort of sepsis, and she went into complete heart block. Uh, but we put a swan in her, because we did that in those days, so we had continuous cardiac output monitoring. And ICU didn't have its own external cardiac pacer. It had defibs, but none of them could pace. We had to get them from CCU, which was down the corridor. And so I did some percussion pacing. We went and got the external pacer. We put her on that, and then we floated a pacing wire and transvenously paced her. And I thought afterwards, we've got cardiac output monitoring for all three pacing modalities. Why don't we compare? And of course, the SVR is derived, but you've got cardiac output, you've got heart rate, so you can calculate the stroke volume, and it was identical in all three pacing modalities. We thought, we should write that up. Um, and there was some dude who invented percussion pacing years earlier who contacted me, and he was like over the moon, because everyone thought he was mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, point. Like, if you see it working, it's pretty convincing. And again, it's making that point that giving someone their own <laughs> native cardiac output by letting their myocardium beat mm. is much better than things like CPR that's going to generate on a really good day, what, 25% cardiac output if you're lucky? Whereas if you're pacing someone in cardiac arrest who has ventricular standstill but persistent P wave activity, like if they're in, if they're in arrest because of conduction failure, if you pace them, you get full cardiac output. If you do CPR, you don't. And if you're doing CPR for five minutes before you think of pacing them, the the milieu of the myocardium probably isn't going to respond to pacing. So that's really important. If you see someone in asystole, but you see persistent P wave activity, that's ventricular asystole, that often responds to pacing. And that's the treatment, not CPR, if it works.